Ready to take your first step into the cloud? In this session, we'll show you how to deploy your first static web application on Microsoft Azure. Let's get started. Let's start by creating a simple to-do application in React. First, head over to GitHub and create an empty repository. Once that's done, clone the repository to your local machine. Next, open the folder in VS Code and set up a React application. You can use the command npx, create React app, my to-do app, to quickly create a boilerplate React app. A few moments later. Let's add some basic functionality to make it a simple to-do app. Now that our application is built, let's push it to GitHub. With our app on GitHub, it's time to deploy it using Microsoft Azure. Now, open portal.azure.com and log in with your Azure account. On the home page, click Create a Resource in the left-hand menu. In the search bar, type Static Web App and select it from the results. Click Create to start setting up your app. Create a resource group. This is like a container for your app and its settings. Create a new one or use an existing one. Choose the free plan for this demo. Next you'll see an option to sign in with GitHub. Make sure you grant Azure the necessary permissions to access your repositories. Name your app. Give your static web app a unique and descriptive name. Now, choose the following. Your GitHub organization the repository where your to-do app is hosted, the branch, usually main or master, where your code is. Select a deployment region. Let's keep it as central US for this demo. Click review plus create, and once validated, hit create. Azure will now initialize the deployment. This might take a couple of minutes. Once the deployment is complete, you'll get a link to your app. Click it to view your live, deployed to-do application on Azure. And there you have it, your first static web app successfully deployed on Microsoft Azure. You can now share this link with anyone, and your app is live for the world to see. Thank you for following along. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if you have any questions or want to see more Azure tutorials.